Aquarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Personal readings, playlist, social media, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in tip or donation to the channel. All your support really, really means a lot to me. It really does. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel to help it grow and flourish. And uh, so we get these messages out to those who need to hear them. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. For Aquarius, I just did your general reading. So this is your love reading, love connection reading for the second half of September. So I hope everybody's doing well coming into the fall season already. Where is time going? I just don't know, but I do love fall. I do love fall. Okay, so Aquarius, what's going on with you in love? This is a zodiac oral, so an oracle. So we'll see what we get here. If you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. It's sort of like a little extra bonus. So what do we have for Aquarius in this love connection? Capricorn. All right, so some Aquarians could be dealing with a Capricorn. Air and earth. Or it could be heavily in their chart if it's not their sun sign if you know their chart at all. Sometimes you can have one sign more predominantly in your chart than even your sun sign. So, and if you're not dealing with the Capricorn, that's totally fine. And we'll see what the rest of the reading has to say for you. All right, Aquarius. Second half of September. Love Connection Spirit Team, please. Thank you so much. For Aquarius. Let's get an overall Love Connection energy for you. The second half of September. What is the Love Connection energy like between you and your person? Well, we have uh, the Hermit here, which is Seek. So, you know, the Hermit is about going off on your own, doing inner journey work, um, you know, thinking things through. Finding your way, finding the light, doing deep soul searching here. So you may be in a little bit of a break right now, or maybe you are just, you or them just need some time to think about something here, go off and spend some time on your own for some reason. I don't know, we'll see what that's about. Okay. Some deep soul searching, soul searching, questioning, introspective work. Ah, oh, okay. So why is the, that here? I don't know. We'll see. So let's get one card for you, one card for them, how you are both feeling about each other, how you're feeling about this connection. All right, so you have judgment here as how you're feeling. And they have, oh, <laughs> that is the devil again. Wow. So we got the devil twice here. Capricorn represents the devil. So how you're feeling is this is Scorpio energy. It doesn't have to be. It's judgment. So this is about forgiveness, resurrection. Uh, this could be reuniting with somebody from your past. Or it could be just uh, resurrecting and forgiving here. Making a final judgment call. That could be what this um, hermit energy is about. Is spending some time, time on your own. Trying to decide. Judgment here is about a major decision, a major judgment call about this connection here. So your person here may have some toxic energy. This is the devil. So and this is Capricorn energy. So this could be addictions, obsessions, fear. It could be negative thinking. It could just be a, a very negative outlook in general. If it's not addictions or obsessions, um, Something where it's not in a good energy here. So your person is like not in a good energy for some reason. So that could be why you're making a judgment call and really thinking long and hard, long and hard here about this connection. Hmm. 
All right, so let's see. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the sun energy. So this is a Leo energy. So this is happiness and joy, success and victory. This is enlightenment. This is healing energy. This is happy home and family, abundance and growth. It's everything possibly humanly positive in the sun card in every single way. So there's some sort of happiness and joy here. I don't know. We'll see what that will be. Um, but, I mean, you could be listening to your intuition here with your third eye chakra here. It's all about inner knowing, intuition, learning to pay attention to that, um, that inner nagging inside of you, your thoughts in your mind, really paying attention to that now. So under that, you have daydreams and decisions. So it's almost like, again, being in the Virgo energy, Seven of Cups energy here is about uh, choices, decisions, options daydreamy daisy kind of energy so i feel like here really trying to make um decisions here maybe feeling confused about this whole situation wow let's make sure you can see those okay so you do have the sun here which does kind of over trump everything Happiness and joy, enlightenment, success in every way. But I don't know, maybe, you know, this is healing energy also with the sun. I don't know. This is almost like the sun energy also. So I don't know. Let's see the tarot. If we can clarify what's going on here. And I had said about, you know, Virgo here is doing that inner journey work, trying to find your way, your light. And here is you kind of like holding that light, trying to find your way, your light here and what you want to do in this connection. That's the daydreams and decisions, trying to decide what will make you happy, listening to your gut and your intuition, trying to seek the answers from within. And your person here is in some negative toxic energy here. So I don't know. Let's see. Oh, and I don't usually shuffle my cards that way <laughs> well and i just saw the fool on the bottom which is your energy which is aquarius energy so all right so let's clarify the cards here one for you one for your person to clarify this energy we get the devil again for your person i don't know it's too many this was my very very first tarot deck i've learned tarot with and i've never seen anybody use this deck on youtube this is the jonathan jonathan d tarot and I wasn't crazy about it when I was first learning because there's not a lot of imagery. So you kind of have to know, really know the tarot. It's, except for the court cards and the major arcana um, has the imagery, but the others don't really have that much. So, but now I love it. It's one of my favorite decks. So, <laughs> and it's getting a little beat up because it's what I first learned on. All right, so let's get one. I just want one. For Aquarius's person, one for Aquarius's person, how they are feeling, what's going on with them, why do they have the devil here? It's way too many. They're getting a little like sticky, and I'll take that one. Okay. So you have the Knight of Wands. So this is moving forward uh, passionately. A lot of drive and a lot of drive, uh, ambition, passion, moving forward. So you're, you're ready to move forward in some way, and you're trying to figure out, do I want to move forward further with this person, or am I just going to go off on my own? That's the kind of Knight of Wands energy. It's just kind of um, getting ready just to go and do something here. And your person here has the Six of Swords. So... This is going in a better direction. This is uh, leaving junk behind, no longer serving, and going into calmer, more peaceful, harmonious water. So, and you see this little, um, almost looks like the Red Cross here, you know, of heal, of healing. You know, so maybe they are in the process here, and also, you know, with um, this Virgo Hermit energy too, and with the Sun energy also for them. So they could be in the process here of healing um, themselves, healing their 
obsessions, addictions, their negative attitude, whatever it is for them uh, that's kept them trapped and bound here with this cage, I feel like they're now healing this energy. But you're wondering if you should wait for them or if it'd be worth it in the long run uh, to wait for them. Or, you know, because you're kind of moving, like you're wanting to move in that direction. You're wanting to move in that direction. So it's like, I think you're almost on the verge of just leaving this whole situation. But they're really trying to heal over here. It's a lot of deep soul searching between the two of you. And you may not even be together right now. You may be separated. Okay, I just needed a drink of water. All right, so let's get uh, more clarity now. One for you, one for your person. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here for you? The Eight of Pentacles. So you're wondering, you know, that's about putting in the uh, dedicated effort, the hard work, and that is Earth Energy, which would be their energy. Um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles clarifying for them, which is their energy. So they're really here trying to uh, gain back their stability because the Queen of Pentacles, Pentacles are very uh, stable, secure, and grounded. It's growth, abundance. So they're really trying to uh, get stability back into their life. They're trying to overcome whatever this negative energy they have. Um, only you would know what that is in your situation. If it's addictions, obsession, uh, obsessions, just very negative behavior, negative thinking, uh, maybe depression, or just something that is not in a good vibration. I think they're really trying to come out of this and heal this so they can go in a better direction. And the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work. This is also their energy on your side. So I really think here you're wondering, you know, making trying to make that judgment call. Do I want to continue putting in this hard work and dedicated effort into this connection or do I want to venture off onto my own? Because you're kind of, like I said, you know, going in the opposite direction of them. But I don't know. We'll see what happens here. So let's see what the actual situation is between you and your person. Right now, I think you're just in the energy of maybe spending some time apart, trying to figure out uh, what you're going to do here. Okay, so on your side, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is, you know, I think deep down, you'd really want to uh, commit to this person. You want this person for long term. This is their energy again. This is, you know, two people coming together as one. This is usually the long term marriage card coming together, sharing the assets, having the family from the grandparents to the grandchildren, the legacy of the family dynamic, you know. So this is like long-term commitment, sharing everything together, growth and abundance in the family. So you, I see that you definitely want that, but you're still undecided if, because this Knight of Wands is somebody who like comes and goes and they don't stay. So you're wondering if, you know, am I going to stay in this situation? Am I going to leave? Is it going to be worth it? Are they going to change? They're trying to change. They're trying to heal. They're trying to be stable again. And then connecting to them is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a brand new start. So they're trying hard here to real, really, really heal themselves, to remain strong and stable and grounded so they can have this long-term new beginning with you. And this is, you know, sure, stable, grounded new beginning for the long-term growth and abundance, building from the bottom all the way up to the top of the tower here. So they're wanting, they're wanting this ace all the way to the 10 because you've got the ace to the 10 wow but connecting the two of you here is the eight of swords which is your energy uh libra gemini aquarius so this is mental blockage this is mental entrapment can't get out of your own head so and it's connecting the two of you so while you're apart i feel like you both are in this mental anguish of it, you know, them, am, am I going to heal enough for this person? Can I do it? Can I remain stable and grounded? I want them for my long term. You want them for your long term, but you're wondering, are they going to heal, come out of this? Or should I just move on? Should I continue putting in the hard work? Wow. 
but I do see you want each other for long term. You definitely do. Um, don't have a lot of cups here yet, other than over here, but that's uh, about confusion and decisions. So, I don't know. Let's see. Let's clarify the actual situation now. A couple of cards to clarify. Okay, thank you. So we have Temperance, wow, and the Two of Wands. So Sag energy, but it doesn't have to be, and Fire energy here. So, you know, this is about patience. So I think it's telling you here, you know, maybe they've tested your patience in the past here. You've had a lot of patience. This is also healing energy. It's patient energy. It's um, the angel that brings the soulmates together. You know, it's peace, it's harmony. So you're, you're definitely wanting, you know, balance and harmony and peace, you know, in this situation. You've had a lot of patience because the Nine of Pentacles is a very slow energy. So you've been very patient here with this person. You know, and you want, like I said, the peace, the harmony, and the balance in this situation. You definitely want that. And then two of wands. So they're, they're really trying hard here so they can make these long-term plans, decisions moving forward. This is about um, making plans and decisions, going in a new direction, and making plans for your future. So they definitely do want to make uh, very you know exciting, passionate uh, plans, decisions with you for your life together moving forward. Also, so all that energy is here, but stuck in the middle of the spread is this mental anguish entrapment and blockages between the two of you. Oh boy. So, Aquarius. Let's get some uh, advice for you in this situation, Aquarius. What advice do we have? Wow, okay. <laughs> All right. So we have the Two of Swords in the full energy. So, and I saw the fool on the bottom of the deck earlier, so now it's making an appearance again. So this is your energy. And the two of swords is your energy again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So the two of swords is about being indecisive, not being able to make a decision. Decision needs to be made. As with over here, judgment call about making a final decision. So your decision is here to take this leap of faith. To take this leap of faith. Leave all the past baggage behind. Resetting at zero, trusting everything will be fine, and just jumping in, leaping in, and taking this new leap of faith, and making that decision to do so. Wow. So that's what the advice, Spare wants you to know, that's your advice. So let's get more clarity on the advice. Why is the Two of Swords of the Fool here for their advice? We have a couple more for clarity for their advice, Spirit, please. All right, that one went on the floor. <laughs> and, okay, thank you. So we have the Four of Swords, which I thought we had the Four of Swords. Nope, that was in your general reading. Okay, I just, just, just did your general reading. And you had the Four of Swords in your general reading. Okay, so we got the Four of Swords and Justice. Wow, so... So the Four of Swords here is about uh, healing, um, taking the time out. So I definitely feel like you're apart right now. This is, you know, going off on your own. The Four of Swords retreating, thinking, contemplating, healing, recuperating. So I definitely feel with the Hermit there, you know, it's also a uh, singular energy. So I definitely feel like you're apart right now, but your advice is that, you know, there needs to be justice had in the situation in some way. I'm not getting like a split or a breakup. I'm just here, you know, truth and clarity with the sword and balancing out the scales because you do have temperance here that does balance out the scales. So this is like almost the same energy except, you know, justice can mean more of like justice system um, things also, but I'm not really getting that because you both have you know, on both sides wanting each other for the long term. But, um, so I think here, you know, the Four of Swords here is on your side, so I definitely think that 
Again, you separated thinking long and hard, thinking, recuperating, healing, whatever you're doing here. You thought about it long enough, thinking, really thinking about what you need to do, making that decision, that judgment call to take action, passionate action towards back to the, towards this person and taping, taking like a new start, new leap of faith with this person because they want this new beginning also. I feel like they're really healing and grounding themselves. They're ready to move forward in a new direction, make big plans and decisions moving forward. So this mental entrapment between the two of you needs to come to an end here. And that's this mental clarity here with the sword. They need mental clarity also. Maybe you decided just to take a break from them and there's been no communication. So I think it's time now. They need to hear communication from you. They need the, sca the, the scales balanced. You know, it's, you know, what you're going to do, are you going to, you know, accept them back? So let's see what your outcome will be. What is the outcome in this situation for you, Aquarius? What is your outcome for you, Aquarius? And maybe, you know, they realized... You know, after you decided, you know, maybe you told them, I need a break. I can't take your energy anymore. And maybe it really hit home hard for them being alone and realizing, wow, you know, I do have this negative energy. I am, maybe they're pessimistic. Maybe they're just very negative or, or something here where they we're not in the same vibration as you. And I think now they really know that as with the sun energy. And now I think they're raising their vibration and they're healing. And definitely here with the Six of Swords with the healing, the Four of Swords with the healing. So, and ready for a new beginning, being more stable. Possible outcome here is the Seven of Wands. So this is um, being defensive and on guard and standing up for what you believe in and not backing down. So no, you, maybe, you know, you just really need to confront them and just stand up to them and say, look, this is what I want. This is what I need you to be. This is what I want moving forward. What I want from you moving forward. What I, what I want our future to be like. This is what I want and I won't accept anything else or anything less. This is really being defiant and standing up for what you believe in. And um, not so much being defensive and on guard, but it can be just standing up for what you believe in very determined and passionately. So let's see what this outcome, a couple more clarifiers here. What else for this outcome? Please, for Aquarius. Oh, that's too many. Oh, I think I'll take these two. Well, there's the sun again, so there you go. There's the sun again, so there's the peace, the harmony, the joy, the happiness, the, the home and the family, the children, uh, enlightenment, healing energy, everything positive with the sun. And here's the king of wands. So the sun again on your side for, you know, that peace and harmony and happiness, everything I just described. And now not only are they coming in as king or queen of pentacles, now they are the queen of wands. So they're ready to stand up and be passionate and uh, have, move forward a lot of drive, ambition, and um, go-getter type of energy now. So I'm not getting like um, like third party or anything like that. I mean, because this is on their side for their energy. So now I just feel like they're being more like enthusiastic, um, passionate, uh, zest for life again. You know, more of that go-getter, fiery kind of energy now. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we got the Three of Swords. So I just said I didn't see any third party. And here's the Three of Swords making me a liar. But it doesn't have to be a third party. I mean, they could have also been somebody who worked too much. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a third person. This third does represent third party. But anything anyone does too much of that affects a affects an, an, a relationship. Yeah. So it can be, you know, it can be drugs or alcohol or addictions, obsessions, playing video games too much, working too much, traveling too much, you know, spending more times with more time with friends than you. I mean, anything anyone does too much of that would affect your relationship. So this is the third party type of energy. 
but this is a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So whether it was you or them, the Empress. So maybe they're, uh, you know, a boss or a CEO or something like that, or they own their own business and they're always, always working because the Emperor is somebody who rules, who's in charge, who's a boss. That's Aries energy. So here's the tower. So, you know, this could have been a tower moment. Maybe you just had a fight, an argument, um, about this whole situation and this is the tower moment so here's the page of pentacles so here's the communication the, sh the sure stable grounded offer coming in either you or them finally reaching out after being apart and saying hey let's work on it you know are we more stable now can we be more stable can we move forward can we build can we grow now with the page of pentacles slow steady growth and now we have the Empress. So we have divine counterparts here with the Emperor and the Empress. And we have the sun twice. So this could be actually a twin flame soulmate situation now because these this is divine masculine, divine feminine. And the sun twice, sun can represent um, the twin flames. So definitely is a soulmate twin flame uh, connection here. Well, and there's the four of wands to double confirm that. 1111 11 card, even though this, you know, you still have the four ones. It's a happy home and family, a stable um, foundation in the family life, ceremonies, celebrations, can be wedding, engagement, um, marriage here with the four ones. And there's another brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Fiery, passionate, exciting new beginning moving forward. Yep, fiery, passionate, new beginning. Could be marriage, long-term commitment here. Happy home and family, celebrations. We have divine counterparts here with the masculine and feminine, but they also could be a business owner or CEO or boss, and maybe they just worked a lot, and that could have been that devil energy that caused this tower moment, fight, disruption, about maybe them working too much. That was the third party. And now here's a uh, sure stable offer coming in to reconnect, rebuild long term. The page of pentacles with the offer in the hand could also be engagement for some. Wow. Okay, so let's get some more messages for you, Aquarius. Because they also, um, over here is the king or queen, king or queen of pentacles can also be somebody very smart, analytical, good with finances, could also be, you know, again, like the boss CEO um, or something like that, runs their own empire or business as like the emperor or empress energy. All right. So let's get some extra messages. That's too many, we'll take those two. All right, it says stay optimistic here about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So this is just say, you know, stay optimistic about this connection here because I definitely feel like it's a soulmate twin flame situation here. And express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So yeah, it's time to get back together, have some conversations and express to each other what you want moving forward. All right, anything else for Aquarius in this love connection? Anything else for Aquarius in this love connection? Spirit, please, thank you so much. So we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I definitely felt like that with the wands and the sun energy twice. Fiery, passionate chemistry. Let's see, anything else? Anything else for Aquarius? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime, exactly. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Exactly. And reconciliation under that. So someone from your past is returning into your life. And that's with the judgment card there. So I feel like it is safe to reconnect, to love again. Engagement. Wow. And I had just said that. Engagement for some here. 
with the Page of Pentacles coming in. Wow, Spirit confirming that and just trust in this situation. Yep. Wow, we got a lot of cards here. So, Aquarius, I do see uh, a lot of healing and uh, improving on their part and ready now to fully commit to you moving forward in this connection. And you were deciding whether or not to leave or stay. But I think it's time to reconnect here and bring this back together because I do see heavy soulmate twin flame energy here. Okay, Aquarius, if this didn't resonate for you, you can, uh, put these where you can see them, you can um, check playlists below um, in the description box. Maybe something there will resonate for you. Um, I do consider them all timeless. I would say disregard the dates. And if um, title catches your eye, I would say watch it anyway. And if you do like the way I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love. So it's four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. Good luck to you. Best of luck in your love connection here. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.